All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are at Walmart, recording on the cell phone, looking for a good rib rub, store-bought rib rub. There's a ton of options here. Kayla is picking one, and she has already done so. It's the Fire and Smoke Pork Perfect. Let's see what we got here. Sugar, salt, paprika, spices, cayenne pepper. Solid pick. They do have... Killer Hogs, the barbecue rub. I'm not gonna go for that. I feel like that's the easy choice. Maybe this Kinder's. Let's see. With our garlic, brown sugar. Let's see what we got here. The brown sugar. Brown sugar. Cane sugar, salt, spices. This would be a sweet rib. This might this might counteract your spicy one pretty well. Anything else? Weber. Not the best. Uh, uh, this applewood. Let's see the spices. Da, 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 da. Corn potato. Ugh. No, not that one. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go this this Kinder's brown sugar. That'd be a perfect match to her sweet one. It's famous Dave's. Oh, good catch. <laughs> Great on pork. Great on pork. Sugar, salt. Gargoyle, natural flavor, orange peel, corn peel. Alright. This is the one. Kinder's brown sugar. Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, my name is Shane Eikenberry and you're watching another episode of Icon Barbecue. As you can see, we just made a stop at Walmart, picked up two rubs, and this video is going to be the Rip Rub Showdown. We're going to put two store-bought rubs uh, head to head and see which we prefer. Stay tuned guys. Alright ladies and gentlemen, I got two slabs of St. Louis style ribs here, I already removed the membrane, tried to trim them up, uh, you know, get them similar in size, similar in thickness. I think I did pretty good, but we'll see. Now I'm just gonna use this Dijon mustard as a binder on both. This won't add any flavor to the actual rib itself. It just kind of helps the uh, rub we're gonna use adhere to it. We're gonna do that front and back. For the first rub, it's this Fire and Smoke Society uh, Pork Perfect. Uh, it has a little sugar, a little cayenne pepper, things like that. Should be a really good rub on ribs. We're gonna check it out. I haven't used either of these. I'm about six inches up for an even layer. Oh. Guess that's the first issue with these store-bought ones. They clump up a little. All right, not bad. Not my favorite pour in the world, but not bad at all. A little heavy in some areas. And spread that out a little bit. Yeah, really not a fan of the pour here, but that's not a big deal at all. Uh, for this one, it's the Kinders. It's a lot of sugar, sugar, cane sugar, things like that. Should be a much sweeter rub. Uh, it looks like it has a really good flavor when I smelt it. It kind of smelled like a taco seasoning, uh, which is typical for ribs, a lot of cumin and things like that. But we're going to shoot for it, see how it goes. And I myself actually prefer a sweeter rib. So, all right, let's give it a fair chance. Six inches. Oh, the shake is much better. Much, much better. Actually, I kind of smell almost like lime. I really don't believe there's any lime in this. Orange peel, wow. I actually do smell orange peel. That's what it is. Wow, come smell this. Uh, pit's coming up to temp right now. I'm gonna get them out there on that in just a couple minutes. Show you that process, and then literally we're just letting these things go, uh, no wrap. Uh, I'll spritz with water if they need it. And about six hours from now, we should have some uh, pretty awesome ribs. Stay tuned, guys. All right, ladies and gents, this is the uh, Kinder's rub. This is the one I picked out. That uh, orange peel in it. I'm gonna go ahead and lay that down here. I'll uh, push it to the back a little bit. Sorry about the dirty pit. I haven't cleaned it since the. the um, brisket video. I'm going to use this toothpick and I'm going to stick it in here so we know the difference. Shouldn't get them confused, but uh, I can picture me doing it. All right, and here is that Fire and Smoke Society rib. It looks really good. You can even see the little bits of like jalapeno and things. 
So, I'm going to get that on here. Get this thing closed up, let her do work. Oh. Been three and a half hours. We're going to take our first look at them. Looking real good. Let's get a closer look. Sorry, also, if you're wondering what those are, it's just the trimmings from the ribs. Season them up, threw them on here. They'll be a good little snack. They're looking real good. I'm going to go ahead and spray them. Just have some water here just to add a little bit of moisture to the pit. These uh, pellet grills run a little dry. Running at 250. You can kind of see pullback starting to begin right here. We're just going to let them go, guys. Stay tuned. All right, ladies and gentlemen, just got a call that I have to be somewhere in a couple hours. So I went ahead and wrapped these ribs. Used aluminum foil, didn't add anything to them. Still see this toothpick back there in the back. Uh, yeah, just aluminum foil, uh, spray, spritz them with water so they'll have a little moisture in there. This will help them cook a little quicker, speed the process up. It's not necessary, but unfortunately, I have to speed this process up. <laughs> so just wanted to let you guys know, they are wrapped now. They'll be unwrapped in about an hour and then uh, probably good to eat in about an hour from that. So two hours, we're good to go. Stay tuned. It's been another hour. I really hope this audio is okay. I'm doing my best here. Um, gonna get a look at these ribs. Ugh. Still wrapped. I don't know if you can see the puddling there. They are creating a lot of moisture. That's what we wanted. Here we go. We just need a little pullback. Oh, and we got it. Maybe overdone. Don't know yet. Not even worried about it at this point. We're just, we're just testing out the flavor. Let's see, they might be overdone. Eh, there's a little tug there left. A little tug on that bone. Maybe not too bad. Bin test. Okay, these aren't so bad. There we go. A lot of pullback. Makes me makes them look like they're overdone. Kind of worried about the back one. We'll see. Oh, actually, looks real good. I'm okay with that. There we go. Toothpick back in or I'll forget. Wow, super tender. All right, there we go. Show you guys the little rib tips. They're looking real good. Oh, these are just a snack kind of throw them on so I don't waste the meat but nothing crazy all right I'm gonna give these about I don't know 15 20 more minutes just to tack up in there there's no sauce but I want it we kind of steamed them a little bit so I want to get that bark built back up and uh, then we're gonna pull them off and try them out guys stay tuned okay so this is the finished product we have the kinder's ribs right here and then the I always forget this name fire and smoke ribs right here both super tender, came out really well, really happy with the turnout. I'm gonna cut into them, see what they look like. Start, and flip these bad boys. Start right here in the middle, a lot of meat. There we go, Just show you guys kind of what we're working with here. I don't know if it's focusing, hopefully that's working. <laughs> ton of moisture in there. Looks really good. I think there's going to be some good pullback. There we go. Went ahead and removed the rib tips. I really like to eat these. These are delicious. Okay. There we go. Now we're going to check out these uh, fire and smoke ribs. He's got a little bit more done than I'd like. But we're really just looking for the flavor on this cook. Let's get a look at these bad boys. So, come, come up here, focus. There we go. That's what we're working with on these. Looking delicious. Looking delicious. Gonna get these cut up, get you guys moved back. And we're gonna get a taste test, let you guys know what we think. Stay tuned. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so this is Kayla. I know she's always behind the camera. You guys never really get to see her, but she's a rib tasting expert. She always tastes my ribs and tells me pretty much that they're awesome. So um, anyway, we're gonna start by just tasting them. We're gonna dig into these Kinder's ribs. She picked, I picked the Kinder's, she picked the fire and smoke. Here's yours, here's mine. Should've gave you some gloves. All right.
clean bite through, clean rib. Okay. Got food in my teeth. Okay. All right, now we're gonna taste this fire and smoke rib. This one's a little more done. Kind of fall off the bone. You can just pull it. Hmm. All right. Start with you. What's your thoughts? So this one has definitely. You gotta, you gotta talk to my boob. Definitely <laughs> more kick at the end. I think so too. I agree. But Do you have a favorite? So I think it was these. Yeah. A little bit more. That one wasn't as sweet as I thought it was going to be. Yeah, for all the sugar listed on the ingredients, you really it didn't really shine through. Uh, you know, in the end product, it wasn't a bad flavor at all. Just I was expecting a sweeter rib, and definitely wasn't more savory. Um, as for this, this was also not very sweet. I would say no more savory, but I think we kind of knew that was going to be the case. But yeah, I think overall this one did have a little bit more flavor. Um, Happy with both. Ribs are always good. You really can't go wrong with them. But yeah, just if you guys are in the store, check either one of these out and I think you'll be happy. Alright, that's all we got for the video today, guys. I hope you I hope you all enjoyed it and I'll see you next week. Peace.